Hey guys, in this video we're going over an example on drag coefficient similarity. So here's our example, the drag on a 2 meter diameter dish due to a 100 km per hour wind is to be analyzed in a wind tunnel test using a 0.4 meter diameter dish. Uh, part A is to find what speed uh, the wind test should be run at and part B is after testing the drag force was measured to be 200 newtons, what is the expected drag on the prototype dish. So let's write down what we're given. This, these are our uh, similarity terms which we're going to have to choose from. But going back to that later on, for part A we've been given the prototype diameter uh, DP is 2 meters, uh, DM model diameter is 0.4 meters. And we've also been given VP, so velocity of the prototype is 100 kilometers per hour. We've been asked to find VM, which is the model velocity. So VP is 100 kilometers per hour, which is 27.78 meters per second. And we've been asked to find VM. So let's try to find what similarity to use from this list here. Uh, we can assume that the properties for air are going to be constant in both the prototype and model. So straight away you can see that in the Reynolds number uh, there's two uh, air properties, rho and mu, so they're going to be constant. And then we've got velocity and length or diameter, so that can also be a d in there. So if we cancel those out because they're constant, uh, u and d, um, we're going to be comparing them and we've been, we've been given all our u's and d's except for the one we want to find. So it would be suitable to use Reynolds number similarity uh, for part A. So we can quite easily solve that for Vm. If we take Re model is Re prototype, we have rho vd on mu m equals rho v d on mu p. So as I said, um, rho and mu are going to be constants because in the model and the prototype we're going to be using uh, air. So we can cancel those terms out. We'll be left with vm 